Good morning. It's Thursday, May 21st, and this is your Bible video for today. Uh, today we're going to read about uh, the letter to uh, another church, the Church of Pergamum. And this is what John writes. Says, John was to write to the church in Pergamum about certain things. The person saying these things had the sharp sword with two edges. This is the same sword that John saw coming out of Christ's mouth in Revelation 1.16. Christ knew that the church in Pergamum was located in a very wicked place. He referred to that place as Satan's seat. Jesus commended the believers there because even though they were surrounded by those who denied Christ, they had remained true to his name and had not denied their faith in him. A man named Antipas had been martyred for Christ in Pergamum, but even that had not frightened the church away from standing true to the Lord. However, Christ had a few things against these believers. Some in the church were holding on to false doctrine. Some held to the doctrine of Balaam, who had encouraged the Israelites to sin against God and his specific laws. Others held to the teachings of the Nicolaitans, whose deeds the Lord hated. If the church refused to repent and continued, uh, to, um, and continued to tolerate these evil teachings, Christ warned that he would come and fight, with them, uh, fight them with the sharp sword of his mouth. To those who were willing to hear God's word and overcome evil through his power, Christ promised a white stone and a new name. The next message John wrote was to the church in Thyatira. Christ identified himself to this church as the Son of God, one who has eyes like a flame of fire and feet like polished metal. He approved of the good works that they had done. Their love, service, faith, and perseverance had not escaped his notice. But Christ had a few things against them. They tolerated an evil woman that Christ called Jezebel. This woman uh, taught them to take part in the practices of false pagan religions. Christ condemned, condemned Jezebel for causing believers to be unfaithful to their spouses. He had given her time to repent of her sin, but she had not repented. He warned those who committed adultery with Jezebel that they, along with her, would go through great suffering if they did not repent. He used very strong words to describe the judgment he would send on her followers and said that he would strike her children with death. Not everyone in Thyatira held to Jezebel's teachings. To those who didn't, Christ offered this encouragement. Hold on and be faithful till I come, he said. Uh, he, uh, come. He said he would soon judge the evil in the church and set things right. In the meantime, the faithful Christians were to be examples of steadfast godliness. Christ promised that they, those who overcome would have power over the nations in the end as they rule along with him. Christ will share with him the authority that he has received from his Father, and he will give them the morning star himself. You have one page to do today. Um, it is page 260, um, and these are easy, easy things to answer. And so I'll just let you guys do that on your own. Uh, that is it for your Bible video for Thursday. Have a wonderful day. Bye.